Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Hero Mode is a mod created for Thousand Year Door by modder and YouTuber Reed that reskins the game with a new story, new characters, new everything, and makes it a lot more challenging. Last time I touched this mod, I checked out the prologue and the first chapter since that's all the current demo version has, and it was tons of fun and made me super excited for the full version of the mod. Last time I also got a ton of comments asking me to check out the Pit of 100 Trials in Hero Mode since it's also complete in the demo, so this time I'm going to do exactly Exactly that. All I'm going to say about this for right now is that I am now convinced that all of these people right here hate me and want to see me hurt. And before we jump into it, I just wanted to go ahead and encourage everyone who likes my videos of this mod, or just likes the mod even if you don't really care for me, to go and subscribe to Read on YouTube. There's no set release date for the mod yet since it's pretty difficult and time consuming to rebuild an entire game from the ground up, but a little bit of support never hurt anybody, so make sure you go show Read some love. Real quick, just wanted to interject, in the time since I recorded all of this for this video, Reed actually announced that version 4 of the Hero Mode demo is going to be releasing on March 19th, so that's all the more reason for you to go subscribe to him on YouTube so you can be there right when it drops. And if you do happen to like my videos, then make sure you subscribe to my channel as well because all of the support and subscribers recently have actually helped me a ton. It's made it a lot more viable for me to keep plugging away at these videos even though I'm in college, and honestly, thank you guys for that. I'm really grateful for it, and if you want to keep seeing videos on this channel, then subscribe is the best way to help me make that happen. And with that out of the way, let's get into the actual video. And let's go check out the Pit of 100 Trials. Based on how hard this game was last time, this is probably going to be horrible, but also probably fantastic. Oh, that's right. I already missed how fast Mario's movement speed is in hero mode. Oh, so good. Because I've, I've played the regular game, you know, several times since uh, doing hero mode, and Mario is so slow. All right, so we'll get healed up. Um, I'm trying to remember what items there are here let's hit up the bad shop what you got interesting interesting selection of items uh wow it's only 56 coins for ice power it's fantastic that i only have 53 coins oh yeah i forgot all these modded badges that i have like all of this is already flown out of my brain, but um, I'll remember pretty quickly. I don't think that I should sell anything because I, I don't know. I feel like everything that I have is pretty decent. Oh yeah, did I order her contact lens? Looks like I did. So we can't, wait, what? Wait, did this shop change stock? Oh, this, this shop restocked after chapter one, I think. Okay, let's buy some ether flowers. And a fright mask? I don't know, I'm just gonna spend all my money on items. I have no idea what to expect, so we're just gonna go with that in terms of prep. The contact lens you've ordered got shipped to another item shop location nearby. Apparently it was sent to a gigantic tree in Bogley Woods. You can go get it there. It's for the inconvenience, we have new items available for you inside the shop. Happy shopping. All right then. Okay, I didn't read that last time, so that is apparently why the contact lens is not here. So, I think I'm just gonna throw myself at it. It'll probably go very poorly, but, um, we'll try it. I'm not sure if the pit is supposed to be scaled for the current strength of Mario in the demo, or if it is scaled to, like, an endgame dungeon like it's supposed to be, because if, if this is supposed to be endgame in hero mode, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but, um, people were telling me to check it out and saying that it was complete, so I'm assuming it's, like, semi-reasonable for a guy like me to complete. Oh wait, I have shine sprites. Could I... Oh, I should probably rank up a partner before I go. Kumbella learns multi-bonk. Koops learns iron shell, which is just like shell shield, but better. Wait, it uses Koops health? Yeah, we're just gonna go with multi-bonk. I feel like there's no reason to not just grab a multi-bonk. Danger, do not enter this pit is the entrance to the Pit of 100 Trials demo. This is a completely different beast compared to your normal quest, so be very careful. Don't worry, every enemy can be super guarded in the pit, even if it says otherwise. It's really hard to balance something that's optional from the start of the game. So, I made it unfair anyway. Good luck! Notice this version of the pit is reused from an earlier version of Hero Mode. When the Chapter 2 Hero Mode demo releases, it'll come with a brand new Pit of 100 Trials. For now, enjoy the chaos. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, that doesn't sound good particularly, but... Oh my god, this like reuses assets from like the Palace of Shadow and stuff. That's cool. Paper Mario battle music? Alright, I'm down. So Goombella, I remember, can tattle without using up her turn, so we'll go ahead and do that. 
Kamikaze Goomba. Max HP is 14, attack is 11, and defense is 0. It says here on contacts they just explode. It's not like they just disappear after the attack, we still have to fight. Note, they're no different from any other Goomba. Okay, got it, let's go. What, what do you mean they're no different from any other Goomba? It just said that he f***ing blows up. <laughs> is this like ridiculous, ridiculous? Okay. Let's use a multi bomb and kill him. I didn't realize that we were gonna have Goombas that do 10 damage on the first floor. And they made the super guard window harder, so I need to, uh... Wait a minute. Oh no! I still have my action replay code enabled from <laughs> the last video that I did. I still have the code that doesn't give me any star points. I have to reset. Oh my god. Well, shout outs to the last video. If you haven't watched it yet, I uh, did Thousand Year Door without earning any star points. Also, wait, seriously, he can spawn with an additional brother in arms? That's not okay. Electrified enemies that make contact will get. Her. Okay, cool. So he's also just like beefed the f up. I'm going to defend, and I'm just gonna have to try to super guard him. Easy game. Damn, at least I hit one of them so he didn't kill her. God, it's evil that they gave him that item. The super guard windows are tighter in uh, hero mode. Gotta remember that. Yeah, I gotta, gotta remember that. Oh boy. Bro's trying to hit me with a brick. He's bricked up. Okay, we won the first battle. And the Goomba only did 20 damage to each of my characters. Why did my star points still go to zero? All my star points work now, I fixed it, let's go. I now have 34 star points, which um, is actually, there's a hidden feature in Thousand Year Door, where when you have 34 star points, there's a rule that um, enemies cannot damage you. Look up Thousand Year Door Rule 34 to learn more. You know what, this seems like a moment for an art attack. So there's kind of five baddies in arms right here. Five little dudes. Oh my god, that's right, there's no cooldown when you draw through it. Damn it. Finish him off. Okay, I think that was worth using an art attack for. Seems like I regained quite a bit of star power in fights, so... Alright, so we'll just keep hitting the stylishes. Killed that guy. And now I guess I'll use a multi-bonk on him? Oh, that's some good damage. Nice. Oh, okay, this is looking good. I'm actually, like, doing good. Super guards are much harder when it's two frames instead of three. That makes them 33.33333333% harder. I feel like that guy having that item is slightly a problem. Is him having that item a problem? I'm just gonna go with nah. He might use it, he might not. It's not like... I mean, he does a sh ton of damage either way, so... Yeah. So I think I do need to just spam super guards here. I think the star power will outweigh itself. Can I hit through the dizzy again? Goombella will still kill him either way, but I want to flex. Nah, okay, didn't think so. Okay, clean fight. I feel like silver smash isn't that worth. I'd rather put on item hog, because multi-bonk is just way better for the FP cost than silver smash is. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity for an art attack, because I'm going to level up anyway. So now I will remember that there's like much more follow through on the star. Look at that. Oh. Oh, so good. Wait, the back one wasn't dead? I thought the back one was dead. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, that was kind of stupid, but I still killed the Kamikaze Goomba in one go. Yeah, I knew I was going to miss that Super Garden. Reducing the fuzzy Super Guard window to two frames is evil. I'm thinking FP for this level, then HP for the next one. It's getting more multi-bonks would be very good. Dried Shroom. See, this is why Item Hog is good, is because those little bits of health, like every floor, will add up pretty quickly and become useful. Oh, just a single little dude. And I mean, he's like literally going to die. Actually, you know what? I'm going to Super Guard him. I'm going to save my FP. He's not that strong. Easy game. This game's literally easy for people like me. People who can press a little red circular button that says B. And I ended up with almost full star power, even though I spent some on a bingo. Not a bingo, a super guard. Why did I say bingo? Damn, these guys got hella items. 
All right, so we'll hammer the Spinia. And then I will multi-bonk him. Do enough to kill him next turn, hopefully. There we go. Fate is sealed. I can defend these in this mod, right? Well, I missed it if I can. Overall, I got off pretty good. Got an EP sheep. Here, I'm gonna see my, since my inventory's full, I'm gonna use these dried shrooms that I picked up. Oh, and this will like fully heal my FP too. Yeah, I think item hog was the way to go. Oh, I hate that you have to watch the <laughs> animation in the overworld though. It takes forever. I'm curious how the floor is be, oh. No, don't try jumping next time. He has a spike, you stupid fing developer of the video game. Shoutouts to Reed. He's cool. I mean, obviously, that's a bug that needs to be worked out because you should not try jumping on these guys ever. They're, they're pointy. What floor am I on? It feels like I should be on 100 by now. This is 9. Just gonna get the bones out of the way because I'm gonna have to super guard this Goomba either way, so I might as well just finish the bones. Nice. Yeah, this is an enemy that was just designed to be super guarded. <laughs> it's ridiculous that at first when I read his name as Kamikaze Goomba, I thought he was going to do 10 damage then die, but no, he does 10 per turn. Aw, oh, nice. Okay, so what's the reward floor going to look like? What will 10 be? Wow, it's pretty normal. What's in the chest though? Yes! Aw, oh, shoutouts Fire Drive. It was three to one damage, leaving a burn status behind, causing one damage for around three turns each. Pretty hot. So it's nerfed, but also costs less to use. So three to one damage. Does that mean it does the thing it does in vanilla where it does three and then does two to the next one behind and then one to the next one after that? All right, we got a para kamikaze Goomba. Oh, <laughs> wait, did they change the description for Fire Drive, but not actually change it? Cause it said it cost three FP, but that is the default description and the default cost. I think that's a, a small oversight. That or it's just a, an unknown oversight. That is an option as well. Yeah, I knew I pressed that too early. I could feel it in my bones as I did it. Yeah, ranking up Goombella was definitely the right call to make. Multibonk is so much stronger than anything Koops could have offered. Damn it. Well, she's dead. There's my first partner death. Honestly, I'm not too torn up about it. She'll be okay. See, look at that. There's a heart. She's gonna be fine, guys. She has one health now. She's okay. Okay, how do I want to... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh joy. That's, that's an Arantula on the 12th floor of the pit. What are his stats like, though? I bet it's similar to the late game Arantula. That's an Arantula. Ick, they gross me out. HP 16, defense 0. Spider spit attack 7, multi spit attack 4. They'll move up and down on the web they're on, so make sure to account for that beforehand. These guys are really hard to beat, especially when there's more than one of them. He's stronger than a base game Arantula. Why? Why is that okay? It isn't. <laughs> it's not okay. That was a spicy multibonk. Okay, we're gonna use heart attack. <laughs> Holy sh! Why am I fighting guys that are stronger than literally end of base game? Oh, I keep forgetting about the follow through. There's like such a cooldown on this move when you use it in the base game. Oh, hey, the rough puff died too. Okay. I did a whole lot of complaining for how easy that fight technically was, but I can't afford art attack on every fight. He's like the guy from Sunshine. Wait a minute. I was like, what the fuck is that for a moment? But he looks like, uh,. One of those little dudes from Sunshine. See, I love the reskins like this. This is cool. He just looks so interesting. That's a CD pod. They only live in Bianco Hills, so why are they here? Maximum HP is 15, defense is zero, body launch has an attack of eight, head slap has an attack of six. Careful, jumping onto it would totally hurt. If you hammer it, that should work. They can even call in friends for help, so be quick about taking them out. He doesn't look like he should hurt you when you jump on him. He doesn't have spikes. Uh, I just saved up enough for an art attack again, so I think I'm gonna call in another airstrike. <laughs> and I remember the cooldown, or the lack of, see, just follow through, just keep steering. It's so normally when you do art attack in the base game, it, like, stops for so long after you draw the circle. That's not the case here, and it's very nice, as how it should have been in the regular game, but it keeps throwing me off. Alright, I think we're gonna want some health here. FP would be good too, but health, I think, is more important. Badge power is honestly, like, not that important at all all right now unless i get some better stuff but 
For now, I think I need to upgrade a lot of HP and quite a bit of FP. Okay, so this looks quite similar to the last fight. So first, let's tattle the Rough Puffs, because I don't know how much health I have. It's a Rough Puff, it's basically a Tiny Mean Thunderhead, HP 8, Defense 0, Slam Attack 5, Zappy Attack 7. Sometimes it'll charge itself. Yeah, so these guys are very similar in strength to the... Um, regular rough puffs also. You know, once again, I think I'm just gonna call in an art attack because it heals so quickly and it does some good damage. All right, um, and then I'll just kill this guy. Yeah, I missed it, but honestly, five damage isn't even that bad. Wait, so can I bonk him or not? Is this gonna hurt me? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Those are flowers. Yeah, that hurt. Out of my life. Get out of it. Why? This is such a strong f***ing encounter. I should have saved my art attack for this. Oh my god. That was so good. Okay, if fire drive is... If they forgot to nerf it, this kills the front guy. Oh my god. It's just base game fire drive. I think that was an oversight. And Goombella's dead, so I'm mega f I'm so f Yes! Yes! That was important. If there's ever been a time for an ether flower, it is right now. I have to survive against this guy. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a sweet treat since Goombella's down. This should heal me quite a bit. I forgot that I hate this version of Sweet Treat. I do remember after a long time of fumbling around in the last video that hitting the poison shrooms decreases the heals you get. Come on, the two the two frame windows fucking me up. I guess I could swap to Coops. All right, that was all the super guards I could afford anyway. I'm gonna swap in coops. And then let's use the mini mushroom. This raises Mario's defense a ton. Halves his attack, but who cares about that? I can't do baby sweet treat, but I can't even reach this guy. So I'm gonna appeal then do baby sweet treat. No, I did not want to hit that. Okay, that is a little bit of survivability. Good, that was my last little bit of star power. Nice. Okay. We live to fight another day. Good lord. This game is chaos and bullshit. So, how am I supposed to make it to floor 100 if that was floor 15? That's what I'm wondering. I want Goombella back, because that multibonk is very good. How did that not count as hammering him? I was swinging in his direction. Oh, not again. So we have base game fire drive on our side. Go ahead and hit him with the multi bonk. That's good. That's less good. That's good. Oh my god. I'm just hanging on for dear life here. Here, I'm gonna get the free star power from an appeal and then a fire drive will finish them. Oh my god. Okay. At this point, I have no hope that I'm actually gonna be able to survive any reasonable attempt at this, but the funny rock man, not the funny rock man, four funny rock men. What are your stats looking like, boys? I've not tattled these yet. Level six, HP five, defense three, seven attack, just cause, you know? Let's use the art attack. I'm gonna use the art attack, cause I'm an artist. Okay, just do that, and now I can finally draw the dick and balls that I wanted to. 
Perfect. Video is complete now. That was our main objective. Okay, yeah, I was hoping I would level up from that. So that art attack was like basically free. I think I still need more health than I need FP. I can tell how threatened this game is making me feel by the fact that I'm upgrading my HP so early. Another one of these boys. Or four of them. I mean, a little fire drive can't handle. That's not as much damage as I would have liked. Make foes sleepy. 100% four turns. Why not? This is 100%. That means that these will fall asleep for four turns, guaranteed. Oh, it actually worked. I was expecting it to not work. Oh, okay. That woke up three of them, but I did get a free turn to survive. So that's not so bad. Too many of them are still alive. There's still three that I have to survive. Nice. Nope. Oh, I thought that was aiming for Mario. I don't want to use another fire drive. I don't want to use all my FP in one battle. Guess I'll appeal for one more star power. Oh, I'm doing pretty good at super guarding that attack, all things considered. 69 coins. We got funny coins. Hilarious money. Comedic currency. This feels like a very reasonable encounter all of a sudden compared to what we've been going through. Not bad. Joy. Joy, Goombella has tragically passed away. Mm, I guess we'll just fall back on an art attack because otherwise Mario's gonna get f***ed raw. I shouldn't say that about everyone's favorite plumber. All right, turbo mode. Man, shout out to them giving you art attack instead of earth tremor early on because it's not only is it a better attack, but the animation is so much faster and I get so bored of spamming earth tremor over and over. Oh, we've made it further. Okay, cool. You got invalid item. It- you get- you're gonna tell me what it does? I'm gonna buy a super shroom and a regular mushroom. So what does the sign say? Return to entrance. Okay, that's just default. I'm gonna see if it said anything useful because I didn't bother to read it last time. All right, let's feed Goombella the super shroom, I guess. Keep her ticking. Yeah, the fact that invalid item is the floor 20 reward tells me that you're probably not supposed to make it that far on this, but anything's possible if you have a dream, you know? Although my dreams are slowly starting to slip away. Um, so we know these are gonna have 14 health, obviously. bob -omb, who knows? I'm gonna tattle the bandit for now. It's a bandit, the scumbag's just gonna bump you and grab coins. Jerk, 10 health, attack five. All right, Fright Mask, if there's ever a time for you to clutch up, Okay. All right. That actually is clutch. All right. Why didn't that do anything to him? All right. Let's learn about you, little one. HP five, defense two, body slam attack five, explosion six. That's actually so good. Oh my God. Okay. I'll take that. Man, things are looking up all of a sudden. What? Did she not just say that he had well, not eight health? What? She also said he had two defense and he did not take damage from my hammer. Will this just one shot him because fire? Yeah, all right. That was worth it, I guess. Yeah, it did have different stats than she said. It was just stronger. That's bullshit. She lied. Goombella needs to cite her sources better. What a strong group of enemies. And what an art attack moment. But first, I'm going to tattle the Dark Boo. I love that they made tattles free in this version. It actually encourages you to do it. That's a Dark Boo. It's everyone's favorite ghost. 14 health. 10 attack, one de one defense, why? Something to write home about on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. I think it is something to write home about. Its attack is f***ing 10. So I need to do at least 10 to them, then I could ether flower them, or I could just tank them, but I kind of don't want to tank them. Wow, that didn't do what I needed it to. Okay, I'm definitely ether flowering, because otherwise I'll have to deal with five enemies and I will just die. Okay, that's fine if I get lucky. This is like not great for me, but I can't really do anything about it. Yeah. Multibond get lucky, just hit. Yes. Okay, that makes it worth it. That makes it worth it to use that attack. What a strong individual. <laughs> that's right, he has one defense. Uh, I'm just gonna spend the multibond, f him. 
See you later. I got so many star points from that fight. I'm gonna get to the point where I level up very often and that's gonna be the only thing that keeps me afloat. 10 health, seven attack. Okay, he's actually slightly weaker than a normal Dark Lack too. Man, I would really, really like to kill this guy legitimate, but I don't know if I can. Because I don't want to use items. I'm fine with using star power, but I don't want to use items. Wait, but if I sweet treat, then I can't super guard. I'm going to use the mushroom on Goombella. I just need to win this fight and I'll level up. And I don't want to use the life shroom on Mario either. I missed that. I missed that! Uh, I have to ether flower and then super guard the Goomba. Well, I have a life shroom, right? Yeah, but he's just gonna fucking kill me again. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I live on. That could have been the end of it. That literally could have been it for me. He's like almost dead, right? Go away, get out of here, please. Uh. Why do the bob bombs have so much defense? All right, Fire Drive will just kill both the bob bombs and do some good damage to the booze. God, it's such a hard timing. I guess I'll Sweet Treat so that I get big again, can heal a little bit, and can get some FP. God, it's impossible to hit some of these. I almost maxed out that Sweet Treat, but then I hit a Poison Trim anyway, and then it ended up not being that good. Like, they didn't have to nerf Sweet Treat. Sweet Treat is already like, the one lifeline that I have. Yes, good. Yes, okay. All of these B button timings are becoming life or death. Pop another fire drive, cause that'll kill the front and do good damage to the back. And then Koops can lay him up a little bit. So toxic. I mean, he's on fire. He will slowly burn to death technically, but okay. So that was only floor 24 so this is 25 so that means we're a quarter of the way there that means that if it keeps scaling proportionally it gets four times harder than this so i think we're gonna be okay these guys are too strong get that spread damage sure make him invisible good Dude, that's not allowed. That's right, they have a defense for some f ass reason. <laughs> Why did you need to give them defense, sir? I'm gonna need to become a hero. Oh my God, they're all invisible. Now they're out of fire drive and uh, fire shell range. Wait, I just like can't do sh to them. Wait, I can't do sh to them now. What the f No, that's not fair. <laughs> I can't jump on them. Goombella's dead. Koops can't reach them. I have to get an art attack. I have to survive another turn or maybe two. And then they're just gonna keep getting invisible. No. Dude, no way. How are you supposed to get further than that? Has somebody completed this? Hold on, I'm looking it up. I haven't watched any videos of this yet. Okay, so apparently in version 1.1 of uh, hero mode, uh, Cappy, I mean, of course Cappy, shout out to Cappy. If anyone would do it, it'd be him. Uh, he, he made it to floor 100, but like, Obviously, the, I mean, this was an older version, so it's a different beast. Do, do I suck? Because Cappy made it to floor 100 of this shit, but I was in an older version of it. it it's gotta be, it's gotta be considered harder now, right? Or am I just terrible at the game? I'm gonna give it one more go, but if I can't make it much further, then I think that's gonna be it. I don't know. Oh, this is big PP hours. Oh yeah, look at that. That's kind of a funky one. I like that. No. No. No! Fuck, I missed it. <sighs> this is so hard. Oh my god, why is it so difficult? Do I want to use Art Attack to kill a single boo? I really, really don't. 
But I'm never gonna get an art attack again anyway. Oh my god, dude, I'm so fucked. No, I'm actually so boned. What the hell? How do I win this? Okay, well, that is a very good heal. No, I need to hit these super guards. No! I got that good heal for fucking nothing. I can't do anything against them. Super guarding also takes up my star power. I knew it. As soon as I missed one, it was over. God. This is like actually ridiculous. I don't think that you're meant to get very far in this. So one final thing that I would like to attempt before calling this video quits. I want to see just how stupid fighting this guy is again. Because I know that it was like really dumb before. I'm gonna run Power Rush, Pity Flower, P up, D down, P, and Silver Smash. I, there's no way I can take him. I, can, I don't remember if he's super guardable or not. If he's not, then there's no way I can. I don't think he is. I think Koops is just gonna have to suck it up and die. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a strategy for this. I don't think I can beat him without super guards. Come on, need tighter lines than that. I think this will help Mario survive. Yeah, okay. Everything is pointless, please run. Thank you for your words of encouragement, sir. Okay, and now... Goombella Ether Flowers. Because I have nothing else to do with her turn. I'm gonna Star Cookie Mario, so this should heal his shrink, but keep my defense up, I think. I think that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. Ether flower. He's down to 18. This is actually going kind of well. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna ether flower with her turn again. I'm gonna hope that he kills her next turn and not Mario. Because then I will have a life shroom, and then Sweet Treat will do a lot more. It's just gonna require a little bit of luck, and I'm okay with that. Okay, that's fine. So now Sweet Treat will... Yeah, Sweet Treat will just heal me enough that I survive. If not, I have a life shroom, and then if I just get this FP, I kill him with a Silver Smash next turn. This was not as impossible as I thought. Okay, whatever. That was not the best sweet treat, but I'm fine. That did what I needed it to do. See, after doing the pit, this suddenly felt a lot more doable. Yes, get his ass! <laughs> Alright, and now... Style on his ass, yeah! He gives 57 star points. Nice! Okay, well, at least I got to do something cool in this video. Oh no, I lost. I better run away and never ever show my face again. Let's save my game, because honestly, this might open up enough options that I could get further in the pit. I'm not sure. We're, we're literally doing R&D as we go. Yeah, this, this is all completely unedited because the I remember the guy was named Gloomther in the last video because he's a Gloomba. Look at that. We're exploring new territory. I've removed all the star pieces I know and love, though. Oh, a new star piece that I love, though. I do love that one, too. Okay, so nothing's changed over here. This didn't unlock anything for me, but I guess we had a cool, a cool final boss for this. What does this homie sell? He sells Jumpman. He's sold Jumpman this whole f***ing time. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna at least get to floor 30 this time. That's the plan. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> it costs four. Damn, they nerfed the shit out of it. Still worth. I love me my Jumpman. Anything that gives Mario more 
more better and more strength is worth it. Okay, let's do one more attempt. The goal has changed. I am not trying to get to floor 100. I am trying to get to floor 30. This is the pit of 30 trials now. So now that I have jump man, it's the better first strike as well. He has an HP plus P. Oh my God. There's so much health. Not enough. Should have killed the bat guy, but it's okay. We'll just super guard. Easy game. Easy game. I just realized I didn't restock my items after fighting the Gus man. Probably not the best call. Real PP hours. Who's up? Oh, two thirds of a PP again. There's movers. You can actually find movers. Wait, no, I can't afford him. God damn it. I was like, oh my God, I caught a break. I can skip these first slow floors. Nope. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, well, <laughs> we're off to a great start. Like, I, I understand the angle of punishing people who can't super guard a Goomba, but I suck at the game, apparently. I don't know if I'm tilted or what, but like, Dude. I missed that extra one on the last guy, therefore I did not have PP drawing time. Oh boy, floor 10. So remember, the goal is floor 30. So we're a third of the way there. Okay, kill the bat guy before he fire flowers me, ideally. What? He's alive. I bet he has one health back there. He has two? I'm that bad? God. I can't believe I already lost my life for him. Really? For real? For real. Oh. That was so, so bad. I don't want to play this anymore. Would you like to continue from your previous save file? Nah. We're gonna probably save Hero Mode Pit of 100 Trials for either when the full game's out or uh, maybe I'll try it when the next chapter of the demo is available, but for right now, that holy that is so difficult it's a very good challenge i'm glad that it's hard but putting it in the demo is evil <laughs> making it feel like it's a thing i could ever accomplish is evil all right anyways if you guys enjoyed watching me suffer through that and try that three times and not get very far or anything then make sure you subscribe because i promise i am good at this game uh i do a lot better at this game when it's not made ludicrously hard and in fact, I do pretty good at it when it is made ludicrously hard. I'm kind of a challenge runner guy. So anyways, make sure you stick around if you want to see more of that and support this channel and everything. I appreciate it, and bye bye